Good morning, bro. It is Thursday. It's been a rough couple days in Shannonland, and it will probably get worse before it gets better, but I have your pink head to look forward to every other day, so I shan't despair. Calling our favorite captains our zombicorns was a bit presumptuous of me. Unicorns. Forever unicorns. I grew up on Lisa Frank and fairy tales. Did you really think zombies stood a chance? Ninjas. That one is hard because I loved Pirates of the Dark Water as a kid and the Princess Bride and the romanticized versions of pirates that I grew up with. But I'm aware of the real life counterparts to those fictional swashbucklers. But I remain culturally ignorant regarding ninjas. So that's where my vote falls. Said in defense of pirates, think of the flinning, fro! Think of the flinning and then have mercy upon those of us who have a difficult time choosing. What are yours? I'm assuming zombies and ninjas here. I'm totally with you on 2009 being the best stream X. I have indeed watched Doctor Who. Not just New Who so far though. Not classic Who. Nine is my favorite. There's just something about Eccleston's Doctor that I really enjoy. I haven't watched classic Who yet because William and I plan to do so um, when we're in cuddling proximity. Prior to my watch this summer, the first episode I saw was Turn Left, which was a really crummy place to try and introduce someone who has never even seen the show, doesn't really know the premise of it. I think it was just because it was the most recent episode on the time. That said, Donna is my favorite companion. What about you? Do you have a favorite incarnation? A favorite companion? Huh? Huh? Do you? What are your favorite episodes? Like I told you last night, I thought your punishment idea was brilliant, but my parents are worried that the excess caffeine will lower my seizure threshold beyond what my seizure meds compensate for and as such they have overruled William's okay and I'm sorry about that and I hope that you can find something as entertaining for you as that would have been. So after two years of growing it out I finally got my hair cut again. I'm donating it again and one of the things that I found out today was I went to a new hair salon. It was the one that my uh, grandma used to go to and I went to pay and they told me it would only be three dollars and i was very confused but it turns out that if you're donating your uh, ponytail that you don't pay for the haircut so that was pretty neato i'm still getting used to the fact that i don't have hair running down my shoulders and my neck it's, it's a little weird and I, I look like i'm 10 again well at least in terms of haircut it's usually one that's one the last time i really had this short of hair was when i was 10. so I'll see you on a day that ends with Y.